guys like what you see from this video and you want to create yourself, just keep watching the video and I'll show you how to do it. Hi everybody, what is up? What is going on? It's your girl Gigi Graziano here, bringing you beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos weekly. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a DIY cloud inspired, visco girl inspired sweatshirt. So let me show you guys quick what we got going on. We are going to begin the tutorial by taping out a box or rectangle shape directly straight on the chest area of the sweatshirt. It doesn't have to be perfect, just do it how you would like. Now the painting will begin. I'm going to be taking this white acrylic paint and just opening it up and painting it right on to the sweatshirt for a base color. Painting white first helps the next colors show up better and clear and vibrant. So right in the middle of me painting, I actually ran out of white paint, so I had this extra white acrylic paint in my other room, so I grabbed it, put it in the dish, and just continued on with what I'm doing. <laughs> Onto the fun part, we are getting into the blues. I'm using four different shades right here, and I'm just going to start making a nice blue type of sunrise. There is no special way to blend all the blues together. It just kind of happens. So whatever your eye sees, just kind of blend it as you go. All right, now this is the part that you have to pay attention to. I just put some white in my pan, I'm dipping into it with the same flat brush. It's about a medium size and I'm just dabbing my brush ever so gently on to the shirt. So there's really no special technique on how to do it. Just make you know free form shapes that you picture what a cloud looks like. And if you can't think about it in your head, look up a referral picture and it'll make it easy. But just keep tapping, tapping until you like the way that it looks. And don't worry, we're gonna go over it so it gives it a little bit more color. Now, to give the cloud some dimension, we're going to be dipping into the gray and lightly tapping it into uh, the bottom half of the cloud to make it look 3D. Once you do that, the clouds are really gonna come to life. For the last painting step, I'm just going with some white again and touching up the clouds, making them a little bit more vibrant. Just making sure that everything looks to my liking. And remember, it's personal preference. And I go a little crazy, so I'm just, you know, fixing everything up. All right, we are all set. Now you're going to take off the tape that you have boarding the outside and presto, your design is ready. The final touch is just cleaning up the edges like I'm doing so right here. And then that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it was easy to follow. content like this. If you want to see more of this face, subscribe because I post videos weekly. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Ciao.